Philippine Airlines brand new Airbus A350. This seat is brand new. I think this is a bit more classy. And this is what I think makes the 350 stand out. That is pretty cool. I thought that the Filipinos love pork. Why would I spend so much more money on premium economy cars? The crew is amazing. The crew is really nice. And this is what it looks like now. However, with this product right now, it hasn't been as defined. This is it. This is the uh, Philippine Airlines brand new Airbus A350. And this is their business class in a one to one configuration which means every seat on this airplane has direct aisle access. And it varies to most of the other Airbus A350s I've seen because they all come with a very standard seat. Like for instance, Iberia, Air Mauritius, and uh, all the other 350s I've been on are Hong Kong Airlines. Uh, but you can see that this seat is a little bit of an upgraded version. It looks a bit more classy, a bit more comparable to Singapore Airlines, I would say. Have a little intro of one of their seats. So you have them in a staggered configuration. So you have one where the seat is a bit closer um, to the aisle, and then you have this one where you have a bit more privacy. So the seat is actually closer to the window. So right now I'm sitting here, this is 5A. This is one of those seats closer to the window, um, which gives you a bit more privacy so you don't have the aisle just next to you. It seems to be an absolute wonderful product. So you got your reading light, um, you have the seat controls, a lot of, lot of storage space here, as well as your noise cancelling headphones, a USB slot and a power outlet. Seat controls, you've got um, the table, but heaps of room here. And then the screen, the screen is so much bigger than what I've seen on other 350s, for example. Uh, and it looks like it's a high, it's like a literally a high definition uh, screen. The seat also goes completely flat, uh, way ahead of Iberia and Hong Kong Airlines and Air Mauritius, for example, because I think this is a bit more classy. The finishing is way more nicer, and I just love it. So this is the economy class. So you have 200, 241, um, seats in total. You have an adjustable headrest, you get a pillow and a blanket, as well as a screen here. You've got a USB slot here to charge your personal device. Also, I find the, the leg room to be quite nice. It feels pretty comfortable. And what you can tell is that this seat is brand new, that this airplane is brand new. It's still in the air, literally. You know that feeling when you when you buy a new car? This is what it kind of smells like. So everything looks extremely nice, extremely clean, and uh, very spacious. So this is where I'll be traveling today. This is the premium economy class of Philippine Airlines, which only has been introduced with the brand new Airbus A350. So it's 24 seats in total. It comes in a 242 configuration. And as I said, it's my very first time traveling in premium economy class. And I said, like, usually I don't think it's very justified um, because the price and what you get in return, but I don't really know. So I'd be about to find out today whether it's worth it to travel in premium economy class. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. And something else I've noticed is that um, the Philippine Airlines A350 also offers in-flight Wi-Fi. So this is going to be my seat today, right here. I've got a window seat. Um, and let me give you a little tour of the premium economy class. So it is an upgraded economy class product. Um, you're most likely going to have a seat neighbor, so there is no direct aisle access. But um, the notable, notable differences are that the screen is way bigger than the one in economy class. Got a little hook here. You also have more storage space. I think this is one of the differences. Plus, you have get a footrest as well. And um, you don't have a fo foldable table in front of you. The table actually is kept in, in the armrest right here. And there's also a little improved recline 
of the seat. So this is the maximum. So I put that foot right down and this is what it looks like now um, when I have the seat fully reclined. It's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, I will tell you later whether it is as comfortable as it looks like because I'm going to spend 12 hours here. But I'm, I'm actually very curious as well what the food is going to be like, what the service is going to be like in premium economy. Since, I, as I said, it's the very first time um, trying out um, this in-between product, how I always love to call it. Yes, thank you. So one of the benefits in premium economy, apparently you get a hot, is it hot or cold? <laughs> a hot towel as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Something I want to point out is this is an Airbus A350 and I'm sitting right next to the engine and the noise levels are very minimum so you can't really hear anything and this is I think something I really like about the 350 the traveling experience so the noise reduction and the travel experience um, you just feel so much more comfortable it's much more quiet and this is what I think makes the 350 stand out from the rest of the airplanes and this is the menu of the premium economy um, class and uh, let's have a look inside what you get here so it's pretty much grilled chicken marinated in that kind of sauce served for green beans and steamed rice um, and then I know that Filipinos love their pork it's called pork stroganoff like once again I don't know whether I pronounced that right then there's also a dessert a coconut pudding with syrup and then uh, mid-flight you can choose between a chicken sandwich or a double dutch cake um, so there are mid-flight snacks available later there will be served breakfast grilled pork belly marinated in that special sauce once again it must be a very special sauce because they mentioned it all the Dencio's special sauce no idea what it is so F stands for Filipino and W stands for the Western option so get the Western option, the Filipino option, the Western option, the Filipino option. That's actually interesting. The pork here is considered Western option, even though I thought that Filipinos love pork. I've also received the um, premium economy amenity kit and it looks very nice. It looks very small actually. First of all, it got the beautiful branding right on, uh, right on that little pouch and it smells very minty. My Jet Airways, uh, Jet Airways, uh, my Jet Blue review. So let's see what we have in here. We've got the socks. I don't know why they're all kept in blue. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible color. Like, really, Philippine Airlines. We have eye shades, and there is one more item in there. Do you want to guess what it is? Leave it in the comment section below. All right, I, I'm just going to show you. So we have a toothbrush with toothpaste. So this is um, pretty much what you get. I also got a business class um, amenity kit. Do you want to go through this? I think it would be nice to see what you actually get when you are traveling business class, and, which is pretty interesting. Earlier this year, I traveled on Air Astana, which is the national, the national carrier of Kazakhstan. And they even offer an amenity kit in economy class. It has it has quite some items, um, like and pointing out that their business class amenity kit is like 
full of stuff there's literally everything in there so like take all the items like you know there's always like some special items uh, with certain airlines like some airlines they have facial mists some airlines they have um, um, toothpicks or whatever you know and imagine all those special things you all have them in Air Astana's amenity kit which is probably if there would be an award for the best amenity kit in the world Air Astana would win this but today we're flying Philippine Airlines so um, let's have a look what, what you get when you travel business class you've probably seen my Sri Lankan Airlines review if not make sure you check it out and this is something I didn't like when I flew with them and this is something I don't like right here it, everything needs to be wrapped in plastic I mean what is the point why can't you just give out the amenity kit um, just like this you know so let's see what we have inside we've got those beautiful blue socks eye shades an upgraded toothbrush a comb I don't use a comb never used a comb in my life lip balm always very important this looks like cologne wow this is beautiful um, it smells like a lemon probably not my kind of cologne body lotion well that's nice that's a nice touch I mean it definitely matches those beautiful um, business class seats you have up front there but today I am a premium economy class passenger so this is actually not meant to be mine I went for the pork option and so I've asked the crew what's the difference between the dining experience in economy and premium economy and it, it is 100% identical so um, the food is the same what you get in economy class so the difference is that uh, it's a cutlery so in economy class you have plastic cutlery but here you get uh, I don't know what kind of metal that is uh, but you get the bit more upgraded cutlery um, however this just supports the fact of me thinking why would I spend so much more money on premium economy class if the food is just the same but the cutlery is different you know I don't mind having plastic plastic cutlery the seat does make a difference you know the seat is actually more comfortable um, I don't know what it would be like if you have actually a seat neighbor I'm still torn whether I whether I think that this whole this whole premium economy concept is um, sustainable you know the crew is amazing the crew is really nice the crew is really great uh, they're really going the extra mile Um, so it also says that Philippine Airlines offers in-flight Wi-Fi on their Airbus A350 and wow, I've just connected to the internet and I'm actually uh, connected so it seems to be free wow so I'm literally connected, I'm getting all the notifications that is pretty cool Philippine Airlines, you rock! So let me sum up my experience flying Philippine Airlines and first of all let's talk about the crew which done an amazing job 
they're really hardworking, extremely nice, they really look after you. Um, so that was definitely one of the highlights flying on Philippine Airlines. Um, premium economy, it was my first time actually, and while the food is the same as an economy, um, the service is a bit upgraded, they look after you a little bit more. Um, the seat is definitely more improved, um, it's more spacious, it's a bit more comfortable. Um, you have a bit of more recline um, uh, however I don't know I don't really know what to think of it because I think since it's still a new product for Philippine Airlines they're still trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work so I'd like to see um, maybe better food options or a bit of an improved food service like considering that you pay a bit a fair bit more than in uh, in economy class but uh, the screen is quite much bigger it's quite nice you have more storage space um, and uh, overall it is an interesting product you know if you're a freaking economy class traveler you're fine with that and you want to have a bit of an upgraded service get yourself a premium economy class seat it is great um, however with this product right now it hasn't been as defined as it should be I think they're still working on it um, and uh, but I can see this to be something uh, very interesting in between you know for 12 hour flight that was great sleeping experience was was okay because I can't I can only sleep when I'm really flat um, however I'd love to see how this uh, product is evolving over the next couple of years and um, but I also have to say this Philippine Airlines probably has the most uh, the nicest one of the nicest Airbus A350s uh, in the industry uh, after Qatar Airways I'd say it's a beautiful airplane with a great business class and really lovely economy class and with a very um, a very nice uh, premium economy class so overall I really loved my flight uh, on Philippine Airlines and I'm going to continue to Sydney on their Neo in business and then from uh, Melbourne to Manila in economy class so I'm going to uh, review all three classes for you so if you think this video was helpful please give it a like um, uh, leave a comment let me know what you think about Philippine Airlines and what do you think premium economy is a nice product or not do you think do you think it's it's, it's something that should be um, offered by every airline or do you think people can just uh, airlines can just skip it and just focus on a proper business class and a nice economy class well um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of more content coming every week. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate uh, you taking the time and listening to me and all this nonsense. So, um, yeah, as always, safe travels, guys.